Hi, welcome to Salesforce Techbook. In this session, we are going to discuss about what is Experience Cloud, why Community Cloud is renamed to Experience Cloud, and what are the different types of sites available in Experience Cloud and advantages of sites, and what are the different licenses available in Experience Cloud. What is Experience Cloud? Experience Cloud is formerly known as Community Cloud. Generally, we heard so many names like customer community, partner community, and Salesforce community. But it is just a website. We can build different types of websites with different experiences for our customers or partners. Hence, it is known as Experience Cloud. By using Experience Cloud, we can share information and collaborate with people who are key to our business processes, such as customers, partners, or employees. We can create multiple sites within our organization for different purposes. For example, if we have a company and we are trying to sell our products, then we have to interact with our customers and partners. Here, Salesforce Customer Service Portal plays an important role. Like that, according to our requirement, by using point and click tools, we can create customer portal, partner portal, help forum, support portal with our company logo and branding. This is the sample site. We can build a site like this by using customer service portal and we can customize this site according to our requirement. We can discuss all these things in the coming sessions. Why Community Cloud is renamed to Experience Cloud? According to Salesforce, the word community does not justify the possibilities of cloud service. So in order to respond to the increase in need for more integrated digital experience, they rebranded the cloud solution and created a more robust platform. Salesforce has provided new opportunities to the organizations to communicate with their target audiences. By using Community Cloud, we can build only simple sites. But by using Experience Cloud, organizations can create and manage sites more effectively. It helps to increase communication with customers, partners, and employees. It allows us to create portals, support centers, forums, websites. Now, anyone can create better services to consumers close sales faster and close tasks in real time with Experience Cloud. Overall, Experience Cloud simplifies the creation of digital experiences. Salesforce now refers its user interface as site or Experience Cloud site rather than community. That is, the word community is replaced with site or Experience Cloud site. And the word lightning community becomes Experience Builder theme and Visual Force community becomes Visual Force site. These are the key terminology changes. Community becomes Experience Cloud Site. Salesforce Tabs plus Visual Force Community becomes Salesforce Tabs plus Visual Force Site. Lightning Community Template becomes Experience Builder Template. Lightning Community Theme and Page becomes Experience Builder Theme and Page. There are three types of sites available in Experience Cloud. There are Customer Portal, Partner Portal, and Guest Portal. Customer Portal. It is a portal built for our customers. It is a business to customer portal. Here we can directly interact with our end customers. Partner Portal. It is a portal built for our partners. It is a business to business portal. By using this portal, we will allow users outside of our organization to log in into the Salesforce. So they will have a unique username and password with which they can log in and we will allow them what they want to do. Guest portal. To log in into the customer and partner portals, we need username and password. Whereas guest portal is an unauthenticated portal. If the user has URL, then user will be able to log in into the portal. It is a publicly accessible portal. Advantages of Experience Cloud Sites By using Experience Cloud Sites, we can collaborate with our customers and partners whenever and wherever they are. We can answer any questions raised by our customers and partners. And customers and partners can search for knowledge articles in our Experience Cloud Sites. Different Types of Licenses Generally, licenses are used to expose every permission that we have on Salesforce or for our profile. Salesforce has so many licenses, but Experience Cloud has only specific licenses and we have to purchase those licenses. 
there are five types of licenses used for external users in experience cloud they are customer community license customer community plus partner community external apps or external identity and channel account license customer community license it is the cheapest license it allows basic access of objects and features but roles are not available in customer community license that means we cannot use advanced sharing sets and sharing rules in customer community license standard baseline objects charter knowledge and tasks are available customer community plus license this license is cheap, uh, costlier compared to customer community license along with whatever the customer community provides it also provides in addition to that it also provides access to reports and dashboards advanced sharing sets and sharing rules are available here partner community license this license is uh, costlier compared to customer community and customer community plus licenses it provides everything from customer community plus license and in addition to that it also provides access to premium standard objects like opportunities and leads external apps or external identity license this license can be used with person accounts b2c portals with large number of external users who need access to case or knowledge object uses these types of licenses channel account license we will use this license when we want to give our experience cloud site access to our partners but we are in sure how many users need access in that case we have to purchase the number of licenses we need for partner accounts and we can give our partners the power to manage their own users now uh, there are different variations on these licenses also uh, they are named user license and login based license if our user have the probability of logging in frequently that is on daily basis then we will go for named user licenses if our user have a probability on logging in occasionally then we will go for login based licenses because login based licenses are cheaper compared to name licenses so we will see customer community like login license customer community plus login licenses and all these things now we will check where we can find licenses in our org in quick find enter company information select company information under user licenses we have external apps login customer community login customer community plus login partner community login if the word keyword login is in the license name then those licenses are cheaper but they come with some limitations that we have to use these licenses these many times in a week or month depending upon the settings this is all about introduction to experience cloud in the next session we will discuss about how to enable digital experiences and how to build a simple site by using experience cloud these are the references please go through those references please subscribe to salesforce textbook thank you